What's up Capricorn? This is Soul here and Capricorn we're going to look at some energies here for you starting uh, May 8th through the 14th, 2023. Capricorn, I hope all is well uh, with you guys. Uh, just giving you a quick update on my own situation. I'm doing much better. I do want to uh, reach out to each and every one of you who has uh, thrown in some comments and uh, wish, we, you know, wish me well and uh, the prayers. Um, I really appreciate that. So I'm using the Rider Weight. Um, yeah. The Radiant Rider Weight Tarot to deliver your messages. Not reading reversals here, Capricorn. Just reading the card straight up. Okay. So um, without further ado, let's begin to see what the potential energy is for you coming up this week. Energies for Capricorn. And by the way, any cards that show up in the re uh, reverse position, when I turn them over, I'm going to read them in the upright, okay? <laughs> All right, so here we go, Capricorn. Let's begin with the first card in its energy. We open up with the major, well, I thought it was the full, but it's actually the page of swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords is all about new conversations, all right? So you could be engaging uh, in new conversations with uh, people, um, new people at that. It could also be that you're just engaging in new conversations in general with the people that you're already connected to. Here, this is a person that is possibly uh, interested in you uh, when it comes to uh, some sort of romance. You know, this person may be, um, you know, checking you out and uh, following you on social media, just, you know, trying to get a understanding maybe a better understanding of who you are and what makes you tick and see if there's any types of um you know synchronicity synchronicities between the two of you okay i don't know why i struggle with that word but anyway so i don't like to use the word spying but this could be a friend this could be a co-worker this could be a neighbor somebody is um newly interested in you and they're checking you out okay global news I always get with the uh, page of uh, source so that could be almost anything also, with the Page of Swords, is first actions and first moves, so decision-making. Following that, we have the Three of Cups, so there's a um, need for celebration. This is about happiness, joy, you know, coming together with family members, friends, romantic partners. Could be, you know, hanging out with co-workers after work. But uh, celebrating someone's birthday, anniversary, is a need to celebrate, just being happy, feeling emotionally good um, with the connections that you have with those people in your life. And that's really, really good. I like the Three of Cups. Up next now, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you have fate and destiny on your side. You also have a stroke of luck. So anything may happen here. You may, you know, be somewhere and something, you know, turns out um, auspiciously for you, you know, fated. Could be... Um, Something that is, you know, destined to come to you. Could be a relationship, could be a job, could be almost anything. This is also a card that um, fosters, you know, money, large amounts of money. So if you're that Capricorn that likes to take risks when it comes to gambling, you know, casino runs and uh, lottery plays and stuff, just play responsibly. Anything that may have been unfortunate for you in the recent past now may turn around in your favor. That's the will of fortune. Up next now, we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups here, I read differently here, uh, as always, you know, from, you know, other tarot readers here on YouTube. The back is to the cups, so you're walking forward. So you may have dealt with some sort of emotional drama recently, not necessarily your own. It could have been just other people, uh, could have been family members, co-workers, friends, or whatever, just trying to drain you emotionally. And I always, you know, hold this card up here when it shows up here just to give you an indication that this is really not a bad card. It, even though it's, you know, stating that it's about emotional disappointments or walking away, it's not always the case. Because we have the moon here. If you can see the moon, the moon has a smile on her face, right? So that means that you're walking forward looking towards better days ahead, okay? So you have that, um, you know, coming forth and to look forward to. So don't despair. Don't put yourself into uh, despair or anything like that. If you dealt with anything recently, 
Of course, now I'm recording the video and somebody wants to uh, fucking with their motorcycle. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Anyway, <laughs> Capricorn, let me get back here. Um, so yeah, better days are ahead if you were dealing with any types of emotional, um, you know, situations, all right? Following the Eight of Cups here, now we have the Seven of Cups. So this is a very good card here. Seven of Cups means that, you know, either you or someone else is going to be going deeper in terms of their love and devotion towards you. It's a card of options. Also, there could be that, you know, you need to pay attention to your intuition um, closely this week because there may be some offers coming your way and you want to make sure that you're picking from the right choices that may be, you know, handed in front of you. The fact that it mirrors the, a will of fortune, it may have something to do with that, you know, things happening or you're destined or fated to uh, have something occur. So in a sense, it's love and romance specifically, but it could be almost anything, you know, so who's to say? All right. So you either go deeper with your emotions towards someone or someone goes deeper in terms of their emotions towards you. In fairness, this is an open general reading, so it can be family. It can be definitely romantic partners, and it also could be friends. Following the Seven of uh, Cups here, now we have the Two of Swords. This is a, a feeling of uh, inner, minor inner conflict, you know, having to make a choice. Also, too, it could be that um, two people may be interested in you. You may be uh, interested in two people. Uh, it's a reduction of having to make a decision and narrow it down to one, okay? You're feeling like you're at a crossroads here. And like I said, it's just a little bit of anxiety and amb ambiguity, but it's not something that you won't be able to handle. This is still regarded as my same-sex loving energy card here, so that might have something to do with what's going on. And then also, um, the smallest thing that could come out of the Two of Swords here for you, Capricorn, is that you could be out and about, and there's some sort of detour or construction going on, and you're rerouted to go a different direction. Following the Two of Swords now, we have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is uh, holding on securely to something or someone. It still could be a pay raise for someone. It also could be that you're saving up for something greater, all right? Withholding love and affection towards someone. Someone could be doing that to you. Four of Pentacles. Now we have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords here is the card of fear, all right? Now, I ne don't necessarily regard the energy of the Eight of Swords as something that's really, you know, terrible to, um, you know, feel or something that's terrible to, you know, to look forward to because it's just sometimes the type of energy where, you know, we're playing out these little scenarios in our mind and in our head uh, related to anything that you may have gone on and it never seems to turn out the way that you have it figured out or configured it out in your head because the end result is never the same. So, you know, do identify what is creating some sort of anxiety for you, um, nervousness. You can see that the female here is bound and she's blindfolded, but you're not feeling trapped, okay? Um, I oftentimes pick up that there could be a break of uh, communications, going on with, um, you know, family members, friends, or romantic partners, but you have to identify um, the source to make sure that it is real. If it is real, then Capricorn, you know, just work those energies out and, you know, lessen the load here of the uh, worries, the concerns, the anxiety, because you don't want it to, you know, continue because then it leads up to the Nine of Swords energy and you really don't want that, all right? So that's the Eight of Swords. Up next now we have the Five of Pentacles. This is your own energy here. Five of Pentacles is my ghosting card. So you could be ghosting someone or someone ghosting you. The fact that it sits underneath that Eight of Cups may have some sort of significance to someone. Also, um, there could be some, you know, worries or concerns over finances, even though we do have the Four of Pentacles here, and that's not a bad card. The Five of Pentacles is oftentimes comes across as, you know, us worrying about our finances, coming up short, not having enough money to pay for this or that. And there is a good aspect coming out of the Five of Pentacles is that you could still be the Capricorn that donates your time and money to worthy charitable causes, all right? So if you're ghosting someone, someone's ghosting you, just note that it's going to be temporary energy. Also, this is a stubborn type of feel, so it could be your own stubbornness. If it is, get out of your own way. And if it's someone else being stubborn, the activity of being stubborn towards you is not going to stick around too long. Last card here for you. Now we got the Nine of Swords. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the Nine, I called it. The Nine of Swords here is that overthinking type of energy. Underneath the Seven of Cups, someone is definitely, possibly overthinking about a relationship. Now, 
whether or not it's linked to um, the Eight of Swords here when it comes to a break of communication that might have something to do with it. This here is you're trying to seek some sort of relief. You're definitely up, you know, at night and you're worrying. The basic meaning of this card is feeling like you're being betrayed or, you know, being lied to or um, being shameful about something, having to deal with some sort of uh, inner unresolved conflict, external unresolved conflict. Now you need to bring up to the surface and address these issues, Capricorn, so that you can eliminate the Nine of Swords as much as you possibly can and as fast as you possibly can, too, because you don't want this to stick around. This is a card that fosters mental challenges and oftentimes it could lead to you know uh, moments of depression or great anxiety some of you may be on prescription medication for anxiety and depression and i'm not diagnosing this is just what i always get with the nine of swords um but you could be also seeking some sort of relief outside of any prescribed medication weed smoking um could be just smoking cigarettes in general uh drinking the link that uh, I often pick up with the Nine of Swords is that you could be the Capricorn who may know someone who is incarcerated. Now, if that is the case, then it's their worries and their fears. It's their Nine of Swords energy. All right, so in your shadow, you have the Death card, Major Arcana. There's something to get rid of, uh, something that needs to come to a close here. It's about death and rebirth. Uh, never physically denotes death. You know, people are, you know, a lot of people are afraid of the Death card when it shows up, but it's actually one of the most beautiful cards to uh, receive. It's just coming through to uh, let you know that there's something that needs to be put to rest, all right, so that you are able to free yourself up or free your space up and then allow something new to come in. Now, it could be just you clearing up clutter, uh, and it may be as simple as that. So if you um, accumulated some uh, things in your home or in your uh, office space and you um, just been, you know, Letting it uh, build up and build up. Now it's time for you to, uh, you know, clean that area up, release it and let it go. Even if it's, you know, trying to get rid of old clothes that you no longer can wear, donate them to charity or give them to somebody who could use them. But something needs to come to an end. Only you know what that is. Up next is the uh, Three of Pentacles. So this is a card of reward, recognition, being recognized for something that you have done. Now, it could be, you know, related to your work, and it may not be related to your work, but there's some sort of uh, recognition coming your way. So it could be a congratulations, a thank you, a job well done. It still would be a small pay raise, just like the Four of Pentacles. Um, and also, too, I always pick up that you could be introduced to somebody completely new. Uh, when it comes to the Three of Pentacles, okay? You're in cahoots, in collaboration, um, possibly working with others to achieve a common goal, or you could be just working on a goal by yourself. Last card I have for you is the Judgment card, okay? What's hidden in the dark comes to the light, Capricorn. So this is a card of, uh, you know, definitely being uh, spiritually watched over, spiritually being protected, and um, some things that you... Uh, may discover about yourself that you didn't know before some things that you may discover about others that you didn't know before both can be positive or negative uh, but you just don't want to use the judgment card this week in terms of its energy to be judgmental towards yourself uh, and judgmental towards others always keep a, a positive attitude about things especially when it comes to uh, your, your your own personal energies and then definitely keep the thoughts positive when you have um interactions with other people this is the karma card what you put out there you're going to get back okay so this is what i have for you capricorn it's not too bad you know it's a lot of you know for some of you there's some energy here that needs to be worked on but i'm confident enough to know that you'll you know see yourself through it you survived all the weeks before <laughs> these readings right so you'll survive this one just me interpreting the cards take what's necessary for you leave the rest alone you guys have a great safe week ahead keep smiling for me and i'll talk to you soon bye